Hi everyone, last week I went to visit the Google Sydney office and met a bunch of Aussie YouTubers. It was such an awesome experience and I made a lot of new friends. I'll include some photos for you guys at the end of the video if you want to see them. Go Aussies! Today's design is inspired by the Google Sydney office which if you google it, you'll see that the entrance is very green and has a rainforest feel to it. So this is what I came up with. As always, apply base coat to protect your nails. For the background colour, we're going to use the sponge technique to create a gradient effect. So get a few of your green polished bottles opened and apply the colours onto a piece of sponge. You can use any type of sponge, I find that the bigger the holes are, the more polish it can hold. Using a pair of tweezers to hold the sponge, we're just going to dab the colours onto the nail. This will create the gradient effect. Make sure you get to the corners as well. This will leave a bit of a mess. Some people prefer to tape around the nails to reduce cleanup, but I just like to clean up after with nail polish remover because I find it takes just as long to tape the nails than it is to clean it up after. So just soak a nail wipe in polish remover and wrap it around your fingers so you can use your nails to get to the grooves. When you're doing your other hand, you can wear a disposable glove over the nail so the polish remover doesn't remove your hard work. Next, we're going to use the Carnat Image Plate M89 available on my website. Apply stamping polish over the design and scrape off excess polish using the scraper. Transfer the design using the stamper and check that the image is complete. Then aim and roll it over the nail. In between steps, you can clean the stamper, image plate and scraper with nail polish remover. Before continuing on to the next print, make sure that the plate and stamper is completely dried of nail polish remover. Any residue left will prevent your next print from being picked up properly, so just be aware of that. Then repeat steps for the remaining nails. Another method I like to use when cleaning up is to use a flat brush. Soak it in nail polish remover and use the edge to get to the cuticle areas. Once all the excess polish is removed, it should look something like this. You can leave it as it is or choose some nail stickers to decorate further. Using the tweezers to remove the nail sticker and place it on the nail. Make sure all the edges are stuck down flat onto the nail. If you're not sure where you should put the stickers, just hover it on top of the nail to get an idea of what it will look like before placing them on. Once you've finished everything, apply top coat to seal in the decals. If you like this video, please rate it, share it and add it to your favourite playlist. Please subscribe for updates, I upload new videos every Thursday if you're in the Asia Pacific region, Wednesday everywhere else. As promised, here are some of the photos I took in Sydney. Everyone there had amazing channels which I highly highly recommend you all to check out.
Let me know if you are already a subscriber to these channels. Thanks for watching.